Okay, last section we are going to look at is ideal gas laws. Okay, before we do that, you're going to need this formula. And again, this will be given to you. So the formula for the ideal gas law is PV equals NRT. Now that you have the equation, you have to know what each letter represents. So P, just like with our other gas laws, is pressure. V is volume. We'll look at N and R in just a second. And T is our temperature. N is something we've not talked about yet, but it is called a mole. So a mole is kind of like a dozen or a ring. It's a number that can represent something. So you could have a dozen eggs or a dozen basketballs. You could also have a mole of eggs or a mole of basketballs. Um, when we get to stoichiometry, you'll start seeing that as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So right now, I just want you to know that mole goes with N, so when your problem says mole, you need to put it with N. R is our gas law constant, and for us, we are going to use 0 0.0821. That, is, that number is always going to be R for us. And then our units on that are atmosphere times liter divided by moles times Kelvin. Since this is our constant, it's telling us what units we need to make sure that our other pieces are in. So unlike our other gas laws where we just had to change to Kelvin, we now have to make sure that our pressure is in atmospheres and our volume is in liters. So let's look at an example. Just like I have, but I'm going to underline the pertinent information, or at least my numbers. If I have six moles of hydrogen gas at a pressure of 1,140 torr and a volume of 2,200 milliliters, what is the temperature in degrees Celsius? So I'm going to go ahead and do my PV in RT over here. You can go ahead and fill in R because you already know what it is. Six moles. I know moles goes with my N, so I'm going to put a six right there. Now my pressure is in tor and I need it in atmospheres. So I'm going to convert just like we were before. Do my T chart. My given is what was for my problem in this case. I'm going to atmospheres and I'm getting rid of tor. Based on our unit conversion chart, I know that one atmosphere is equal to 760 torr. So I'm going to multiply across, divide down, and I'll get 1.5 atmospheres. Then I see that my volume is 2,200 milliliters. Well, I need that to be in liters. So if you think back to what we did at the very beginning of this unit, we talked about metric to metric. We said Kevin hates dates because dates cost money. We got 22,000, or 2,200, I apologize. I'm going from milliliters, this is my start, to liters. Remember, liters is a base, so this is going to be my end. So I'm going one, two, three letters to the left. So I have to remember that my decimal's right here, and I'm going to go one, two, three to the left. So my volume is 2.2 liters. Now I'm looking for temperature, but I want it in degrees Celsius. But our answer is going to be in Kelvin, so I'm going to write this there as a little reminder to myself that I need to change that unit at the end. Okay. But for right now, I'm going to say that temperature is X. Now I'm just going to plug it into my problem. For this setup, I'm going to go ahead and put in all the units, but the next few, I'm just going to put in the numbers. So if the units are overwhelming you on here, don't worry about that, because you're going to have the option to uh, just write it with numbers. So my pressure is 1.5 atmospheres times 2.2 liters, which is equal to 6 moles, times our gas law constant, times x, because we do not know our temperature. Now it's just all algebra. So first I'm going to simplify this side by multiplying 1.5 times 2.2. And that gets me 3.3 atmospheres per liter. Then over here, I'm going to simplify these two numbers. Uh, I'm going to have to leave x because i got to get it by itself. So when I multiply 6 moles times our gas law constant, I get 0 
two six. Okay, those moles cancel each other out times x. Now to get x by itself, I have to do the opposite. So if it's multiplication, the opposite of multiplication is division. So I need to divide both sides. When I do that, this cancels out. All of my units cancel. So I'm going to look at 3.3 .3 divided by 0 0.4926. And that gets me 6.7. This will be Kelvin. Okay, because I'm solving for Kelvin is equal to my x. But I need my answer in degrees Celsius. So I'm going to have to convert 6.7 Kelvin. I need it into Celsius, so I'm going to subtract 273. So my final answer is going to be negative 266.3 degrees Celsius. Oh, I'm going to get my negative in there. It's going to be negative 266.3 degrees Celsius. That is the longest problem I will be able to give you, and it's normally a bonus question on your test. And let's look at this next one. <clears throat> you have an unknown quantity of gas at a pressure of 2.1 atmospheres and a volume of 62 liters at 78 degrees Celsius. How many moles of gas do you have? Your pressure, volume, moles, constant, and temperature. I already know my constants. I'm going to go ahead and write it down. My pressure is it already in atmosphere, so I'm just going to write it down here. My volume is already in liters. And I'm going to have to change my degrees Celsius to Kelvin just by adding 273. 51K. Okay. I do not know my mole, so I'm just going to put it as an X. Now I'm going to plug it in. This time I'm not going to put my units in, so you're just going to see the math portion. But if you choose not to write it out over here, when you initially put your numbers in, you need to include the units. 2.1 atmospheres because that's my pressure times 62 liters because that is my volume looking for X plugging in my gas law constant for R and my temperature for my T oh, I said I wasn't going to put units and I still did All right. you, know what's, you know what's happening it's fine so I'm going to multiply 2.1 times 62 to simplify that side and I get 130.2. Just going to bring my x down because I can't do anything with it yet. And I'm going to simplify this side. So when I multiply these two together, I get 28.82. I need to get x by itself, so I have to divide in the opposite operation. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. These will cancel out. So I'm dividing 130.2 divided by 28.82. My final answer is 4.52 moles, because I'm looking for moles. Okay, this is much more representative of the kind of problem you're going to see for me. Let's look at the next one. You have 12 moles of gas in a 2 liter container at standard pressure. So I have to remember the standard pressure is 1 atmosphere. So I'm going to write myself a little note up there. What is the pressure inside of the container? <clears throat> 